Hebrew Traditions by Jane Crystal. Henry. In 1950 BCE, Abram moved his Hebrew clan from Ur to Canaan. Later in 18 BCE, a famine struck Canaan and forced them to move to Egypt. According to the Torah, the Pandora enslaved the Hebrews at an unknown time. The Hebrews then the exodus began and from Egypt with Moses. Later, 1000 BCE, Israel is set up under King David. Later, in 931 BCE, Israel is split into two. In 722, Israel was conquered by the Assyrians. Then in 597, Judea was conquered by the Neo-Babylons. Yom Kippur is a celebration of the gods. They are not allowed to shower, eat, or drink water. The Shabbat is a celebration where they have Friday and Saturday off, basically a weekend. This is a menorah that Hebrews use on a tradition called Hanukkah. This is the Star of David that represents their religion. Hebrews were mon monotheistic, which means they believed in one God named Yahweh. Abraham was the first ancient Israelite to be called Hebrew. At one point, Abraham had a son named Isaac. He was the firstborn person to be called a Hebrew. In an attempt to save the Israelite slaves, Moses suddenly found himself trapped, a mountain on one side, the Red Sea on the other. God then sent an angel to protect them. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. Suddenly the sea was in two, and during that night the Israelites fled through the sea as the Egyptian army chased them. This time is called the Exodus. God told Abraham that in order to prove his loyalty, he needed to sacrifice his son. Abraham obeyed God, but at the last moment God said stop. You have pr proved your loyalty. David had been the one to establish Jerusalem as the capital in the year 1000 BCE, and Israel was at war. A giant warrior, one of the Philistines named Goliath, tormented Israel by calling them weak and wimps. He, claimed, he challenged them to send a warrior to fight him. David accepted the, his challenge and took five smooth stones. The first stone was the first one he shot, hit Goliath in the forehead, killing him. The third person was Moses. Moses as a child was sent down a river in a waterproof basket to save him from getting killed. Soon after that, the Pandora's daughter heard a baby crying and found Moses and rescued him. She saved him the name Moses, that means drawn from water, Later, Moses' goal was to go to Mount Sinai. At Mount Sinai, it's where God gives gave Moses the Ten Commandments, also the Torah. The last important person was Solomon. In the Hebrew language, Solomon means peace. King Solomon was known as the wise man. One example is two women claimed they were the mother of a baby. Solomon ordered a soldier to cut the baby in half so they could share. One woman accepted it, but the other said the first woman could have it and to spare the baby's life. Solomon then knew the second woman was the real mother because the real mother would never let her baby be killed. And one important event was the dysphora. The dysphora started in 7 D.C. The Hebrews were defected by the Romans. The Hebrews were forced to scatter all over the Middle East. The Romans destroyed Jerusalem, forcing them to relocate. Diaspora means scattering. The end. That's all, folks. Yeah.